Hey everyone, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you how to make uni or sea urchin. This is a personal favorite in our house. It's a really simple recipe to make. If you click on the link below, it'll take you to the recipe page so you can see the number of bands needed for this creation. After you check that out, come back and let's begin. All right, let's start making our uni. So you need your loom, remove the center row. We will only be using seven pairs of pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's start off with our yellow orange bands. Take two bands. Create X's across the seven pairs. Push everything down. Now you take another two bands and line them all across. Across and around, I mean. Then, you just need to lift all the lower bands, hook them up and over each peg. The outer bands would have two bands, while every other peg should have four. So continue doing it all around and this is considered your first layer. So after you finish this round, pause your video and repeat the laying around and hooking up and over on each peg three more times. Okay, we're back and we finished four rounds of the uni portion and now we have to transition into the seaweed. We're going to weave the black bands through. So you get two black bands. Go through your first peg. Pull those black bands through. Lift the uni colored bands off that peg and replace it with one end of those black bands. Remove the black bands off the hook. Remove the uni bands off the peg to the right and replace it with the other end of those black bands. So you have four bands around your hook. Two more bands. Pull those bands through. 
put one end on the previous peg. Remove the other end of your hook. Move the colored bands off the peg to the right and replace it. With those, with the other end, and those bands. Again, two bands. Pull them through. One end on the previous peg. Move the black bands off your hook. Remove the pegs of the next, or remove the bands of the next peg and replace it with the other end of those black bands. So continue doing that. Pause your video and unpause when you get to the end. So we're now at the last two pegs. Two more black bands. Pull them through. And just put them onto the last two pegs. The next process is just as simple as the first. Get two black bands. Go all around. Just lay all the bands around. And you're going to hook up and over the lower four bands after each round. So you have this all laid out. Now you just get all the lower four bands on every peg. And just bring it up and over. So after you finish this round of lifting it up and over, get two black bands again, lay them all around six more times for a total of seven rows. We'll pause the video now and when you're done, unpause it and we'll continue from there. Okay, we finished seven rows and your sushi should look a little bit like this when you turn it upside down. Now our next step is to sew it all together. To, I mean to, to tie it up. So I start off with three black bands. Create a slip knot. Create the third band. Create a slip knot with the third band and the second band. 
with three. I attach one end to a free peg on the loom so I don't have to fold it. Then you can use a hook or a crochet hook. Put your hook through the first peg. Pull your tying band through. Just go through every single peg. And tie it all up. If you need to add on to your sewing band, all you have to do is get another another band, go to the end, and attach it with another slip knot. So continue going through each peg. All around and I'll meet you at the end. All right, that was the last peg. Bring it off the loom. Just Tie the two ends of your sewing band together and do not. And we bring this inside out. Uni shape. Now, last step is you need to sew this part together. So just tuck it in so it's flat, straight. You get a straight, flat surface at the end. The black band. You can still use your loom hook or a crochet hook. I'm going to use a crochet hook. Stick it in one end, bring it out the other. Pull that band through, create the slip knot, Sew it in. Put 
Tie it off when you're done. Hide your tying bands inside. Shape it. I hope you like it. Enjoy your uni.